Hi guys and welcome to our channel. If you are new, my name is Carla Jo and I love making videos of our adventures and homestead lifestyle. In today's video, we will show you how our chickens have been laying so many eggs and once they started laying, man, did they really start laying. We'll show you some Christmas decor in our rooms and a delicious egg drop soup recipe that tastes just like in the fancy restaurants. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning while I do my morning routine. I like to make my bed first thing. There are lots of studies that say making your bed first thing sets you up for a more productive day. Obviously, I'm still in my pajamas, but I know making my bed just makes me feel better and more mentally prepared for the day. Say hi, huh? Hello, chickens. Hey guys, thank you for all the eggs today. Which one do you guys squeak? The one that sounds like a, a dog that gets hurt when he... I think that's the blues. The blues? These hanging feeders are so cool. Richard got them at Tractor Supply. They help to keep the rodents and anything else out of the feed. Now it's time to go into the garden and get some green onions for the soup. So I like to come here early in the morning and and in the evenings and check out the garden and see what's going on and this time of year it's just really sad. I get so sad. I know that sounds so crazy, but it's almost like I'm like I'm grieving or something. I I'm want my 
green lush gardens back and my tomatoes and peppers and everything and it's just sad but it's just the process that it goes through every year and, and just takes one good freeze and then it's all gone and that's what happened but we were able to pick a lot of stuff before the freeze really got here and well even after the first frost we picked some things and we were able to get them when they were kind of frozen but they hadn't turned to mush yet but um some of them out in the garden like i was noticing some of the peppers and stuff had really turned to mush but here it is guys i'll show you what we got going on okay guys let's see what we got going on out here the tomatoes here they're all frozen we were able to save some and put them in the garage we have them in uh some pots in the garage some like pickle buckets Here is our squash garden. Let's see what we have left in here. Our pretty zinnias. Look at the asparagus. This will is just sleeping. It, this will come back next year. I'm sure. I hope. <laughs> and our blackberries. Oh, how sad they look. We even have some pumpkins, random pumpkins left here and there. Pretty much everything's dried up on the ranch, frozen. more random pumpkins everything pretty much dying out in the or died out in the herb garden the sage is still doing really good it must not mind the cold Which is this the first time I grew sage, so I didn't know that that would survive. I still got a little bit of rosemary there. Seems to be doing okay. And this is all basil. This is all gone to seed. So I know I'm going to gather up some of these seeds. And next year I'll have a bunch of basil. Because I can tell this is just going to go everywhere and just bolt. Look how pretty that is. It's still surviving really good. I don't know if you can see they kind of have like a fuzzy look to them. Okay, uh, we checked our chickens and checked the garden and I went in and I put my makeup on, I did my hair and now it's time to make some nice warm egg drop soup. It is cold so it's a perfect day to make it.
This egg drop soup is so easy to make. I used my leftover turkey. I mean, why not get all the use out of your leftovers that you possibly can? I boiled the turkey in this organic chicken stock and water, threw in a couple of bay leaves, then boiled it for a good 30 minutes or more. If you don't have leftover turkey, you can use chicken instead if you like. Then you're going to want to strain your broth and save the turkey and broth. Take all the meat off the bones. Clean your onions. Mix cornstarch and water and add to your broth to thicken it. Next, you're going to want to chop up your green onions. If you don't have green onions in your garden, you can buy them at the store. At this point, you could keep the soup keto or you can add in a can of mushrooms and a can of corn. It's totally optional, up to you. Then you want to beat three eggs into a bowl and stream it in with a fork into the boiling water. And there you are, your soup is done piping hot and delicious. Just going to be cleaning, doing my counters in the kitchen and doing some laundry. And I just wanted to share with you guys, this stuff smells amazing. It's like since it's December and Christmas time, this is the Iowa pine scent. And oh my gosh, this will get you in the holiday Christmas spirit really quick. This is the first time I tried this and it, I love this. I wish I could let you guys smell this i wish i could share this scent with you it smells like a christmas tree like you're in a forest or somewhere full of pines up in the mountains up in big bear or rightwood it smells so good you guys have got to try this to listen to music some so I made some that are kind of long and then some of you don't like those kind I'm curious what what kind of videos do you like the most this is a lifestyle channel so I'm kind of all over the place I have some cleaning and some gardening and cooking and all kinds of things here at the homestead and um, some people like you know listening to gardening and some people you talk about gardening and their face just kind of <laughs> glazes over like so i want to um, post more content that stuff that you guys like and some people are the same way with the cleaning like they don't like cleaning and they're just like what is that crazy girl doing cleaning but a lot of people uh, especially now that people are more isolated and at home more they actually like feeling like they're they're not alone and they have someone to clean and motivate them and to do things that are on their to-do list with them. So if you like 
to um, have more about gardening or if you like more about more recipes or if you like the clean with me videos leave a comment and tell me which ones are your favorite and do you like the long ones that just play music and I don't talk very much or do you like to hear talking more more conversational please just let me know in the comments below so I can preach all day long about these habits and these tips to do but I forget sometimes and I fall into bad habits so I like to put them on here as a reminder to myself just as much as um, to motivate you I sure hope you guys like this video if you do please leave it a thumbs up